Hey, this is Jeff from the Ozark Mountains in Missouri, USA. A uh, little bit different video today. This is my Raise 3D E2 printer. And I've been trying out some different filament colors for an upcoming soon-to-be-released project. And found this interesting sort of iridescent filament. Uh, that's a Prusiment by Joe Prusia product. And I was having a terrible time trying to get it to print. And what would happen, you can see on this side, is it would print the bottom just fine. And, you know, after about four hours or three hours when it got to this point, it would lose the plot and the filament would jam. And I've printed lots of rolls of filament on this and I've only had problem with one other filament, uh, which was also a good quality filament. I never could figure it out. Um, I wound up switching because I found a closer color, so it, it became not an issue as much. Um, as you can see, I let this print last night. This is about a seven hour print. Let me see right here. It came out perfect. Uh, I'll show you what I did to fix this. Uh, it's a very simple fix and uh, hopefully other E2 owners, uh, this will help them out. So I will get you pointed uh, down from the top so you can see what we're doing. This is a bit of an odd view, but it's the best I can do to get you in here to where you need to see. Uh, I did this modification first on the right hand side. Now we'll do it on the left hand side. Um, so I've already removed the filament from this side and I'm going to go ahead and remove the filament tube. And what we want to do is pull out uh, the filament out sensor here. There are three screws on this side. They are a metric Allen head. Nicely raised includes wrenches with the machine. And I need a small one. And there's also one on the bottom of the sensor. Now the first thing I did, uh, I thought maybe the uh, extruder fan was stopping. You know, after it had been running a long time, being heated, I had that happen on another printer. And so I took the extruders apart and cleaned the fans, and the fans were just fine. They're nice ball bearing fans. Never had any problems with them. Um, they were quite dirty. I should have cleaned them a lot sooner. Um, so cleaning them made them a little quieter. It didn't change the problem. But I noticed after uh, my test print, after cleaning the fans, that... Uh, when I went to load the filament again and I was, you know, pulling it through to have enough to stick down to the extruder, that it felt like there was an awful lot of drag on it, which confused me. And uh, it just, the amount of drag kind of depended on like what angle you were pulling at and stuff like that. And it seemed kind of strange. And I'm going to squeeze that little, there's a little tang here on the top of the connector and you squeeze that a little bit and it'll pop right out. And there's a screw under there which is a little difficult to see because if you hear noises or the camera shakes that is my dog a little bit who is helping. She likes to think of herself as, as a producer. Okay, there we got the sensor out of there. Here's what the sensor looks like. Um, I think we'll go over to the bench. It'll be easier to see what I'm doing there. Okay, here is our filament out sensor. You've noticed they've nicely marked these left and right. Though I still prefer to take stuff like this apart. One side at a time. Uh, that way if you're confused about how it goes back together, you've got a reference. So take out that screw, the board will pull out, and you'll probably find some fuzz in here like this. The fuzz is not the problem. It's just blocking the sensor, so the sensor won't work. 
Queen diff has this. Okay, I got most of the fuzz out of there. And now we need to pull my tube coupler off there. That is an eight millimeter. The problem is, oh, there's more fuzz. The problem is right here. There is no radius on that edge. So when the filament's coming up through there, you know, it still has a, a, a arc to it because it came off the roll. Uh, some filament's going to retain more of that arc than others. Some's going to have a slightly different surface texture. There might be a little twisting in the filament as it comes off the roll. And so this doesn't set all the way down into the, the pocket here. So that filament catches on that edge. So what I'm going to do is get my small drill index opened here. I'm going to grab a drill bit. It says it is a number 29. It's about three millimeters and just by hand and do this this is a really soft material some sort of brass alloy Just like that, I'll take a slightly smaller one and go just in the center so there's not a sharper transition down to the, the shaft. But there we go. Now we have a nice chamfer on there and our filament won't catch. And of course, when we're pulling the filament out or it's retracting, we're going to have the same problem with that sharp edge right there. Although there is a bit of a, it, you can't see it with the camera, there is a bit of a bevel right there, but there's still a pretty sharp edge. Um, same thing. Just a few minutes by hand with the drill bit. Don't put the drill bit in your drill. And you can put a nice chamfer on this guy and take care of the problems. And then there's also the tubing coupler on the extruder itself. Uh, that one's going to be big for when the filament retracting, which is where I think the problem came in. After running for four hours, uh, that extruder, you know, had heat soaked really well. And when it's getting to areas where it's doing a lot of retractions and, uh, the filament is slightly softer and it's also catching sometimes and you would get a filament grinding or filament stripping okay so we've got a nice chamfer on both of these pieces this makes a little bit of a mess as you can see there so don't do this standing over top of your machine and now we just need to re reassemble all these pieces, uh, blow them out a little bit with just like your breath to make sure there's no shavings in there. Do the one on the extruder, put everything back together, and this has eliminated the problem for me. It went from not working at all to not messing up at all. And in general, this E2 has been a great machine. It's just worked. Um, I need to put a set of uh, nozzles in it sometime in the near future. That's about it. So, hope this helps someone. Uh, it's made a big difference in what I've been doing here, and solved a long-standing problem I had with only you know a few filaments that were good filaments. They were just a little more susceptible to this problem. Yeah.
Thank <laughs> you.